11 people sick in three months and Green County health officials are looking for answers. Good evening, everyone. I'm Sarah Carlson. And I'm Susan Simon. Eric Franke is off tonight. They're trying to pinpoint the source of an E. coli outbreak. News 3's Jessica Arp tells us about the precautions being taken now at an elementary school, Jess. Well, the school isn't suspected as the source of the outbreak, but two kids discovered sick this week have the community and the county trying to figure out where the E. coli is coming from. Hand washing is top of mind these days at Abraham Lincoln School in Monroe, where it was found two kids had fallen sick with E. coli. At this point, the, the county health offices indicated that they don't believe that we're the source. Um, regardless of that, we still take this very seriously and we make sure that we're thoroughly sanitizing everything. So we don't want to take any chances. All surfaces in the school are being wiped down and kids reminded about good hand washing hygiene as family of those sick are being interviewed about a possible cause. We are really waiting for lab results um, to identify if these two new cases are of the same E. coli strain as the previous nine cases. The Greene County Health Department is still investigating the earlier stage of the outbreak, not yet finding a common cause of the E. coli that made eight sick and killed one in September. What we typically in those interviews are looking for that um, common denominator in those interviews and at this time uh, there isn't any clear established common denominator. So far attendance has been steady at Monroe schools and the focus is on prevention. I think they know that the schools will take every step possible to ensure their kids safety so I'm not sure what's happened in the community recently um, but again we're going to do everything we can to make sure that we keep our kids safe. Green County health officials hope to have results by the end of the week as to whether the strains this month are the same as in September and will continue investigating the cause of all 11 cases. Now. Jessica Arp reporting tonight. Jess, thanks.